Right, welcome back to Mini Performance Workshop. Another Sunday afternoon it is now. I was also up here yesterday afternoon working on the car. I decided to crack on and do some of the brackets on Bumblebee, uh, mainly for the charge cooling system and to relocate the oil cooler for the supercharger. So I'll give you a quick rundown of what I'm doing and how I'm trying to make space and find space where there isn't any. So we'll start with the oil cooler for the supercharger. I've repurposed some brackets I already had um, and chopped them down quite a bit and it's sitting forward now, it's up against the back of the grill. I don't know yet exactly how much room I've got between that face there and the supercharger so I have got plate on the brackets to move it forward and I've already spaced the grill forward as well by about 10 mil. This next uh, contraption you can see there is the heat exchanger for the charge cooling system basically the radiator I've sort of got it positioned in there because I'm thinking that this space in here is going to be filled by the starter motor and stuff um, but I'm not going to mount this one until I've got the engine back in because I really need to know where these water pipes are going to go and if even I can use them but it's going to sit in there quite nicely I think it should be all right just in case of where it's going to go you can see the pipe down there that's my possible route for the piping from the supercharger I was thinking about running it from this corner here under under in the back of there and there's a big gap to the uh, front valance so I was wondering if I could perhaps use that and then bring it out in this corner over here but then uh, the only problem is I'm, I'm getting tight on space in here because in this place here is where the reservoir for the oil system sits for the supercharger um, and then obviously you've got your wok sticking into this space in about here what I've done is I've relocated the uh, air horn compressor from there up to a temporary bracket just up in here just needs finishing and fixing into place etc and tidying up um, this is obviously going to get chopped off short and then the water pump for the charge cooling system is going to sit somewhere in there roughly like that which will be under the tank for the wipers washers the washer bottle holder so that's the plan for that and then apart from that I've got the apart from that I've got the bracket for roughly mocked up for that and that's going to sit there and that's my reservoir for the water cooling system for the charge cooler so that's going to have two standoff brackets coming off the bulkhead to those top mountains and then something down below I'm not really sure yet what but it's nearly flush with the uh, bulkhead at that bottom because I've bent the bracket so it's going to sit roughly there but at the moment it's just a case of trying to position everything when I don't know where the engine is there's certain stuff I, can, I know roughly where it has to go and certain things I'm just guessing so for the moment I'm just going to continue making brackets fixing things where I can and then it'll be a case of dropping the engine or a engine in place so that i can do some uh, dummy fitments yeah so the next bit of footage will be when i've got these brackets finished I beep it, yeah. no it doesn't beep oh, shit. right welcome back to the mini performance workshop uh second installment on this one another sunday afternoon just about complete making brackets yesterday and today um i've made a bracket here for the water pump controller and that's going to attach to the roll cage sort of a temporary bracket for now that could do with being longer but it'll do the job and then that will sit under the dash as per the picture i must insert in and it's been uh, the time of uh, hitting lots of bits of aluminium with a big hammer in the vise and bits of wood to make various shapes what I've done is I've mounted the water pump 
for the charge cooling system down there uh, put some rivet nuts in and that's all in place hopefully I should have enough room but we'll see and then I've done this bracket here for the water reservoir for the charge cooling system it's um, two bits of weather station leftovers bent and uh, shaped and it holds it quite well and there's just enough room to get the cap off clear of the uh, the lip there at the back of the engine bay so, so that's going to work all right and then obviously I try and find a way of maneuvering these round so that's it for today um, two weekends of uh, hammering and banging and uh, not an awful lot to show for it but it's all these uh, small jobs that take forever